Yeah. John got his stuff from Civil Air Patrol, and he's really excited. I got my uh, shoes. Shoes? Wow, they're shiny. Oh, yes. You don't have to shine those for a little while. Yeah, Too bad so. I couldn't make my shoes that shiny. And then I have my uh, um, doll. shirt. And then here's the packaging slip. Um, oh, those are my uh, insignia. Uh, oh, and well. I have my flying patch, which I need to put on my Can I see your cap. flying patch? That. And then I got my name tag. Good morning. It is Friday morning. And we've taken a couple days off from vlogging just because it's been so crazy around here. So we're going to have a little bit of catch up to do today. The kids currently, part of the little guys, all have colds. It was really crazy here this past weekend with company. And then we had some doctor's appointments we had to deal with this week. And so it's just, it's been crazy. But today I'm hoping to attempt to get back to normal. Friday is my cleaning day, so I think I'm going to start with that this morning. Who brought us apples? Uncle B and Lisa. Uncle B and Aunt Lisa kindly brought us over some apples this morning. I just finished sorting out a bunch of donation things that need to get donated to our local Salvation Army. And I also sorted out the clothing because they don't like clothing in the same boxes as their donations. And what I have are six bags, those three bags here, and then these three bags here are clothes that I'm donating. This is a bag of recycled cans that need to get returned, and then this box and this box is all get rid of. We still are very much in a purging mode, making sure that we keep what we have on hand under control and that whatever comes in, we're trying to make sure that same amount goes out. This was piled high with donation stuff, so this is a lot less. I have some yarn that I need to take care of and I think I'm gonna just put that on the garage sale site, see if I can get five or $10 for it. It's actually nice yarn, it's just things that Charity nor I will probably use. I have some canning jars that have chips in the top. They're not appropriate for sealing, but they're perfect for crafts or wedding decor. So again, we're gonna try to rehome those. And then this box is my current donation box. There's nothing in it, I've emptied it. That's pretty much what I've been doing all morning. Hello, Lillian, how are you? Have you been a good girl? Yeah. See, I like crawling around, rolling around, seeing what kind of trouble I can get into. Are you hungry? Would you like your lunch? We are back from the grocery store and well I don't think I even told you we were going to the grocery store. We ate lunch and we had some errands to run and we were trying to decide do we want to do them now before Art needs to go back to work or should we do them later and we just decided that we were going to do them right now and be done with it because Friday nights in our area can be really really hairy at the grocery store. So we just decided we're gonna do it now, and I got some good deals. All right, here is the grocery shopping haul that I did today, and I'll go over this by um, the different stores that I shopped at. First of all, the Price Chopper haul that you're seeing right here, all of that cost me $22.99. And they said I saved $29.47, had six cents in bags for bringing reusable bags, and 23 of that dollar, 23 of those dollars were in coupons. And then for the other shopping trip over here, this was $14.72. So I thought that was pretty good. So we'll start with the potatoes. The potatoes were 99 cents for five pounds. This loaf of bread was 99 cents. This was um, a competitor's coupon and I bought this for my sanity for tomorrow. I try not to keep a whole, I try to make my own bread, but you know, this mama needs a little bit of sanity. Then the eggs were 99 cents. The four pounds of sugar was 99 cents. The um, tuna fish was 39 cents. These cans of tomatoes, and I had a large variety that I could get, but I chose the Italian diced tomatoes because these are a staple when I make my homemade tomato soup. And if you haven't seen that recipe for my homemade tomato soup, I will put that recipe down in the description below. You can check that out because I make that a lot in the winter time. 
the lettuce was 99 cents. This was on sale for $1.50, and I just used that for my low carb trim healthy mama pancakes. This pound of pasta was 39 cents. The half gallon of milk was 99 cents. And then these were a special here. You had to buy six boxes of these, and these were 49 cents a piece. So all of that was my $22 shopping trip from Market 32. And then over here, I ran next door to their Hannaford, and they had the chicken thighs on sale for 69 cents a pound. So I picked up two packages of those. I also picked up some Mama Convenience food because, again, sometimes I run into a pinch and I don't have time to serve my kids always the best. So they got um, hot dogs for a dollar. They were a dollar package. And then these melons were 90, these melons were 97 cents a piece. The other thing that I forgot to pull out and show you guys was I got two packages of chicken wings and my kids love the way I cook our chicken wings. So I like to make a special treat and I'm thinking I might do pizza and wings for dinner tonight because who doesn't like pizza and wings? I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what I'm going to make tonight. And they were also marked down, so that's when I buy things like this. So all of this comes to right around $37 for a week's worth or more. This is like this is going to last me most of right through the end of the year. Depends on how many I use, but that will use last us probably through December. This, um, I'm going to say till November and... I think everything else we're going to eat up pretty quickly. And we also supplement with a lot of the, as you guys know, we supplement with a lot of the food out of the garden. And although the garden produce is starting to come near towards the end, but it certainly helps when you can eat a lot of the stuff on your own from your own garden. Grace, what did you just help me with? Chicken. You helped me with the chicken. What did we do to the chicken? Um, sad. Sad. Did we put some spices in it? Yeah. So, I don't know if I, I think I probably have shown you guys, but we've got a lot of new subscribers. So, if you've never seen my spicy chicken wings, this is what I do. I know it's not a glorious presentation, but it's very simple and easy. And this is what we're all about right now in our, in our time of life. So, I sprinkled salt and black pepper on them. And then I just did a little bit of garlic pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of chili powder, and then a little paprika. I'm gonna throw that into a hot oven and we're just gonna let it cook for, you know, I'm saying 35, 40 minutes. It really depends on the size of the chicken wings and how crispy you like them. I know they're done when the skin is really crispy, but they're not done yet. Once they are cooked, I do equal parts of butter and your favorite wing sauce. I do Frank's hot sauce. I just mix the two together, melt the butter first, then I melt the Frank's or put the Frank's hot sauce and stir it up. Then I put all the chicken wings into just a Tupperware container that has a lid, but any container that has a good tight lid on it will work. I throw in my sauce and then I shake it up really good. And then all the chicken is evenly coated with the sauce and I serve it just like that. If I remember, I will show you guys as we go along. Yummy, I'm hungry. All hands are on deck, we're cooking dinner and I am watching my so-called home because I like watching her. She's been doing some kitchen renovation. They moved and been doing a lot of renovations. So I like watching that. This is the pizza. We've got this all set and ready to go. And the chicken wings are just about done. So the pizza has tomato sauce and then fresh tomatoes. It has leftover steak and some leftover peppers and onions and then cheese and seasonings. Well, it looks like fall has come. The leaves are falling. The pumpkins are still doing amazingly well. <laughs> Isn't that unbelievable? I think that's a record. It's what? It's more than 20 feet out from our garden. Yeah, that's amazing. That's great though. Our, it's good that we have a good pumpkin year. Uh oh. I'm oh. trying to grow in. The eggplant got bushy all of a sudden. All right, so you can see the lettuce oh. on the camera finally. Oh, and. Oh, bean season. Them today. 
All right, so over here we have, this is the lettuce that the girls helped me plant a while back. We also have some spinach in the back row. There's the spinach there. And then we have um, romaine, and then this is just mixed lettuce. Um, we planted this direct, directly sowed it into the garden. And then over here, you can tell I haven't been out here in a weed art. Yes. We have our transplants, which are actually doing amazingly well, considering how bad they looked when I put them in. So not all of them made it, but a good, good amount of them made it. And this lovely little pepper plant has decided to become a volunteer, and it looks like it's producing some Italian frying peppers. My focus this last couple weeks has been just getting art to work, and then homeschooling and getting ready for company. So the garden's sort of taken a back seat, and you can see that when I show you the next section of the garden. Once I opened this up a few weeks ago, you can see the weeds were like, oh, sunlight, and they started growing. And I haven't been out here since I've done that. But those are spaghetti squashes. They're not really all that big, but I've got at least a half dozen of them. There's another one right here. And then you'll see I have another one right here, which is not ripe yet, but it's growing. And then we have some more pumpkins there. And then one of you guys sent us some seeds for... I think they call these Cinderella pumpkins. And you can see there's one here. This one's not ripe yet, but I'm gonna show you an, one that is ripe. We have to watch out for our vines out here, but we have, whoo, almost hit the peach tree. We have a mutant Cinderella pumpkin there. We have another pumpkin here. This is not a Cinderella pumpkin. This is just a nice pie-sized pumpkin. We have a Cinderella pumpkin here. They actually did really well, the Cinderella pumpkins. Um, and I see if I can get over to the, uh, I don't want to step on any of the vines because they're obviously still growing. Look at this. That is the Cinderella pumpkin. Isn't that beautiful? I really enjoyed growing something new and different. So thank you very much for sending me those Cinderella pumpkin seeds because that was amazing to grow something so different. We also had gotten this type of, um, I, let's see, I'm trying to think of the name, Zucchini Rupacante, I think that's what it was, if my memory serves me right. And we didn't do a whole lot with that one, except, look at this thing. It is huge, and that is all one fruit. We have another one of these that have been growing most of the season, so I'm told that they will hold up all winter. These, uh, the lettuce has gone to, um, the lettuce has gone to seed, so that's for the chickens, and I'm just waiting to see if the broccoli, I'm told that the broccoli will have like broccoli babies. So just kind of an experiment. I'm trying that out and seeing if we'll get any more heads of broccoli. Got one growing there. That would be neat if there was enough growing season to grow more broccoli, but I'm not sure that that will happen or not. And we're in kind of a dry stretch right now, so we're gonna have to make sure we keep the lettuce watered. This is really my first garden year where I'm going to try doing a later crop of lettuce. In fact, it's my dream of mine. I don't know if this will happen or not, but my dream is to, ugh, the mosquitoes are out, something awful today. Um, my dream is to build a small cold frame beyond my hoop house and try to get the greens to grow right through December. I would love doing that. I don't know, Art, what do you think? You think we could pull that off? Do that. I would like, what I'm thinking is taking some cinder blocks and assembling them so the air holes aren't going through to the plants, but they're acting like an insulator. I've seen, somewhere I've seen videos that do, that do something similar to that, and then taking some of our glass windows that we have up in the barn that we're not using and use them like a greenhouse. I don't know if we'll have time to do it, but I've been mulling it around thinking, I wonder if Peter and John could help me make something like that. We could count it as school, but I don't use power tools. Not that I'm not capable, I just have never been taught to use them, so I'm sort of leery about trying to do anything with wood and building, but cinder blocks seem Easy enough, right? So they're all done and cooked and they're crispy. I'm gonna cut them apart at their joints and then I'm gonna put the sauce on.
they're all cut up and investing into a really good pair of kitchen shears is going to make that job a whole lot easier. These I bought years ago. These are just Pampered Chef scissors. They've worked great for a super long time. The only thing is they always stay open because of the spring. Other than that, they've been a fabulous pair of scissors. Here's the sauce. It's just half butter and half wing sauce. And we're just going to pour that right over the top. And then I'm going to give this a good shake. And they're all done. Now tell me they don't look good. Mm, can you guys smell that through the camera? Charity has discovered some funny looking mold that she wants us to see. See, it's hairy mold. Oh! You sure that's mold? I am pretty sure because it wasn't there a little while. Uh, a few days ago. Really? Mm -hmm. I've never seen it like that. Have you? No. It does appear to be mold of Don't stuff. breathe it in. No, you yeah, mold, but... An algae or... Something. Fungus? Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Yum, yum, yum. Who's hungry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we're all enjoying our wings right now, and except for Daddy because he thinks the enjoyment would be lost on him. <laughs> they're, they're a little greasy. Everyone else loves them, so hey, they can eat them. And while well, everyone else is um eating them and enjoying them, do you like the wings, Pete? Yes, uh, but I think they're better than store-bought. Because Mommy makes always the good food. And what do you think about them, Lydia? Fine. How do you think about them, Charity? We got a thumbs up. Hey, Grace, do you like the wings? She helped cook them. Ooh. How do you like your wings? The best. It's about 11.30 at night. Art went back to work because he has a really big saxophone repad that he promised for next week. So he was trying to get a few extra hours in this evening while the kids were sleeping and I was doing just some work in the office. But I'm gonna call it a night. I actually feel like tonight was more of a slow and relaxing evening. I don't have many of those nights and just didn't feel like there was anything pressing that needed to be done, so I got to catch up on the office, which is always a good feeling. I could have done a lot more, but I'm going to force myself into bed and take care of Lillian. I'm still waking her up at one for one feeding at 11.30 because she doesn't do, um, she doesn't nurse well during the daytime. She's just so easily distracted by everything going on in the house that she doesn't like to settle down and nurse. But when I wake her up at 11.30, she's kind of groggy and she'll nurse for a while, which I think is really good for her. And then she sleeps for the rest of the night until 6.30, 7.30 in the morning. But I'm going to head upstairs so I can go ahead and get her situated. I'm going to get myself situated and I'm going to call it a night. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our food haul and I will see you in our next video. Good night.